everybody Brian here just uh, want to do a quick video uh, been thinking about picking up one of those uh, Jackeries or goal zero or even the blue eddies uh, just a portable power station but got the looking at prices of them and pretty darn expensive and um, thought maybe I could build one myself um, and I get it the lithium batteries are most of the cost of those things but uh i built a real simple solar system for my cabin uh with just like a 65 amp battery so that was like a deep cycle so i figured i could do the same thing but in a portable version so i'll show you what my idea is kind of keep you up to date on what the pricing is and what i got into it and we'll go from there so i was at walmart today this everstart brand is what i built my cabin uh, solar system around uh, this is 80 amp hours so this was a little bit bigger the other one I did was a 65 and I was just running real low wattage uh, LED lights off of it and uh, a little 12 volt pump for a water catchment system I had for the rainwater but um, picked this up for I think it was 69 bucks and then uh, I just went around the store trying to find a case that that battery would fit in. And I saw this little Hart 26-inch toolbox uh, fit perfectly in there when I was messing around at the store. I like how it has the handle. You have to lose this piece here. But this battery fits in there perfectly. I've got some room if I want to add an inverter or something, but I could drill some holes in here, put some power outlets, maybe even on the sides or the top even. Um, this is up real nice. It's got a handle on it. Real easy just to pick up take wherever you need to be I just figured that would be a great little portable quiet uh, power pack and uh, probably have just a couple hundred bucks into it when I'm done uh, like I said it doesn't have the convenience of the lithium and the benefits you get from that but I'm not spending a thousand dollars or more either so I will keep you guys posted as I get the components for this and get it all built. Picked up another component for the DIY power station box that I'm building. I uh, wanted to go with a 1,000 watt inverter. Um, a lot of brands were too big to try to keep it compact. But I did find this Jupiter brand. I don't know if that's Harbor Freight's brand with a different name but uh, Harbor Freight had it pretty reasonably uh, fits great I got the battery centered here this will fit down this side pretty well <clears throat> I will probably cut the front of this box out if it works out if it lines up right and just use the front plate on here on the outside and screw it to the unit on the inside that way it'll save me from extra wire and connections and everything but uh we'll see if that, i can make that work it didn't come with any connection wires which is kind of frustrating because um, a couple of the other inverters i've bought in the past have come with all the wiring and let me tell you they recommend two gauge wire and that stuff is not cheap so uh, I ended up getting a couple of pieces cut the length off of eBay. You can buy it by the foot, so I think it might have cost me another 20 bucks or something. But moving right along, just waiting for the rest of the components to come in the mail and get this thing put together. All right, so I've been wiring up the power box here. Got everything all hooked up. Just need to tidy up these wires a little bit here. I uh, got a fuse panel put in here in case I want to add some more stuff. Uh, also got the main pump.
positive line coming off the battery fused. Uh, on the front here, we've got two USB ports, a regular cigarette light adapter. Turn that on there. Got your 12.9 volts. Lights up the USB. I got my iPad here. Just show you real quick. And it's charging. A little charge symbol there. So as far as DC power goes, we're good to go. Uh, I've got the inverter that's gonna go over here. And you're gonna have two plugs on this side once I get that inverter hooked up. So coming along, got power, portability. Uh, I don't even think I have 150, maybe $200 into this. I'll add everything up and show you guys once uh, we get further along. Just want to give you another update on the portable power station. I was trying to do this outside where there's a little bit more room, but it's like 80 degrees today in April in Pennsylvania and very bright. Um, Whoops, I got the uh, inverter wired up and got it mounted, cut out. It's got a USB, which is kind of nice, so that's an extra one. And I got, uh, as you saw from earlier, two USBs and a cigarette lighter. Power port. I got some updated graphics, just a bumper sticker for a couple bucks I got made to match the blue handles on the top of the box. Show you guys real quick with this drill here. little portable power station I'm gonna get a solar charge controller for this last side over here and uh, some suitcase portable solar panels and then uh, this will be wrapped up uh, pushing about $200 so far like I said before I'll break everything down a uh, thousand watt portable power station uh, some of the comparable commercial ones are over a thousand dollars so Pretty easy to build. Definitely uh, save yourself some money for sure. Beautiful, sunny, 80 degree day here in southwest Pennsylvania. Got the Renogy suitcase, solar panels from Amazon, uh, 100 watts, uh, two panels. They fold up and fit into that case there. So like 50 watts each, so you get a total of 100 watts. Charge controller mounted on the back. Currently pushing 14.7 volts. Pretty easy plug and play. Uh, I thought this was all going to come separated, but they had this all mounted and wired already, which is kind of nice. And adjustable legs. So you can get the right angle for the sun. It's all hooked up to my homemade portable power station that I built earlier in the video. You can see now that's showing 14.6 volts. And putting out about all the power we need for camping and charging phones, laptops, other portable batteries. So I'll show you how this folds up pretty slick okay so I got the wires unplugged from the solar panel I'll probably put some quick detach clips on the power station just to make it easier to plug and play so I don't have to open that but that's no big deal to open that really 
these panels you just stand up legs fold flat tighten that a little bit and it just folds together two piece just make sure your wires not sticking out there in there and away you go and just put it in that case and good to go well that's going to do it for this build just want to give you guys some numbers on the uh, components for putting this together i'll post links in the comments too if you want to get the same stuff that i got but uh, the portable power station the toolbox the battery the inverter and the wiring and the outlets for that came to about $215. And then the suitcase solar panels were around $220. And then I just got some extension cables. These are 20 footers. Um, add these to the 10 footers that are on there. That'll give me 30 feet. So that came to about a total of $250 plus the 215 you're looking at 465 dollars total for a thousand watt inverter so not bad considering the same size jackery or goal zero is uh, over a thousand dollars just for the station itself and then you have to buy the solar panels so thanks for tuning in everybody i appreciate it if you could do me a favor and hit that like button and also subscribe while you're here and uh, feel free to share this video with your friends. I appreciate all the support. And uh, make sure you check back for some more builds and some more crazy fun outside.